Hello, this is Kent from Easy Test Pool Supplies in our dairy test location where we just successfully swapped out our variable speed pump for the brand new IntelliPro 3 VSF pump. Here's how we did it. Here you can see the old Supermax VS pump and we will be replacing that with the brand new 2023 IntelliPro 3 VSF pump. We will begin by shutting off the pump and turning off the breaker. This ensures that there will be no electrical issues during this installation. We next need to isolate the pump and filter. We do this by putting the multi-port valve in the closed position. Next, we'll disconnect the electrical from it. We'll start by removing the ground wire. To remove the power cord, remove the top display piece by removing the four screws on the top. Once the cover is removed, begin removing the wires one by one and snake them through the conduit. Remember to be careful with the wires. Next, we will unscrew the unions on the suction and pressure side of the pump, and once done, we will move the pump out of the way. With the old pump removed, we will now begin to install the new pump. We'll start first by staging it. We will now begin adapting the new pump to the old fittings. As they are not the same, we will now have to make new connections to install this new pump. We'll do that by cutting the suction side line and unscrewing the return line into the filter and removing any sort of debris that may be remaining. On any fitting, it's important that we use both primer and glue to ensure a nice tight fit on any of the fittings and no leaks down the line. It is important that we use the proper fittings. Here you can see the tech measuring the distance inside of the fitting to cut the pipe to the appropriate length. Now we will begin to pipe in from the pump to the filter. As this takes a threaded fitting, make sure you use a plum tape on any sort of threads. It's also helpful to put a bead of silicone over that so that it applies a nice tight fit once you screw it in. This will be the beginning of our piping from the multi-port into the pump. Now once the suction side and the pressure sides are both plumbed in, we can tighten any unions and move on to the wiring of the pump. First we'll attach the ground connection. And next, like the previous pump, we'll remove the display on the rear end to attach all of the power connections. Once again, snake the wires through the conduit into the pump. Make sure to follow the wiring guide so that the wires are connected to the proper terminals. Most pumps are volt sensing. This one is set for 220 volt. Once the necessary electrical connections are made, make sure to reinstall the rear plate. Put the multi-port back into the filter position, turn the breaker on, and run the pump. If everything's correct, the pump will go into the priming cycle, and you shouldn't see any leaks or any water anywhere. So there you have it. We have successfully swapped out our old pump for our new IntelliPro 3 VSF pump. 
Follow us for more information on these pumps and our next video on how to program. Thanks for watching. Thank you.